What is going on everybody and welcome to part 32 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we're going to be creating ourselves an experience bar that will not only show how much experience the player has, but also when the player does reach that EXP level it'll go ahead and reset by itself to somewhere near the beginning depending on how much experience they have left over. So first thing we want to do here is open up our testhud.lua file and navigate to the bottom of our HUD function. And once we're down at the bottom here, we should be below the player level and player EXP drawing. We want to go ahead and create ourselves the experience bar itself. So we want to do draw.rounded box. First value is going to be zero. Next one, we need the X position. And this will be 385, and that's going to be five pixels away from that ammo and weapon container, which has the weapon name and then the ammo amount. Next up, we want the Y position, which will be screen height minus the height of this rounded box, which will be 5. Then we want to go ahead and set the width of it, and I'm just going to set this to the screen width, oops, screen width, minus 390. And then we want to set the height of it, which as I said before, is going to be 5. And then the color of it is just going to be a dark gray with just a small amount of transparency here, so we'll do 230. And if we go ahead and save that now, head into game here, we can see that right at the bottom we have, it might be hard to see, but right at the bottom we have that very thin experience bar there, which is 5 pixels from that ammo and weapon name container, and 5 pixels from the right hand side of the screen. Next up we need to make something that will actually show how much experience the player has, so we're going to have to draw ourselves another rounded box, and again we'll put a 0 as a starting value, and the X position will be 385. The Y position will be screen height minus 5 again. And then the X value, or the width of it I should say, is going to be a little bit different here. It's going to be, in parentheses, we want to have client colon git nwint. And we want to go ahead and get the player exp value from this. And then after that we want to divide this by the exp to level. And what this will do for us is it will give us a value between 0 and 1. And with that value between 0 and 1, we can go ahead and then multiply this by the screen width minus 390, which is just the value that we have up here for the width of this. And this right here will give us a very accurate representation of the player's experience in regards to the width of this experience bar up here. So once that is done, we want to go ahead and now set the height of it, which will just be the same exact height as the experience bar itself, which is 5. We want to go ahead and set a color for this. And I'm just going to set it to a green. So 50, 200, 10, and then an alpha of 255. Now if we go ahead and head into game here now, and we have to fix this. It should be rounded box with a lower queso. And now if we go into game and test this out, we can see that right at the bottom we have the EXP bar with the greenish color overlaid on top of it, which is just representing the current amount of experience points we have. And if we go ahead and spawn in a bunch of NPCs here, and as we take them out, you can see that our experience bar is slowly going up. And if we end up filling that bar completely, so if I spawn in just a few more here, we can see that once I get it all the way filled, it'll go ahead reset itself back and since I have 72 XP left over it'll go ahead and display that accordingly. So that right there is how we make ourselves an EXP bar and that right there will conclude part 32 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.